in the last episode, we took a whitewater tubing trip down the Potomac and Shenandoah River right around Harper's Ferry. So we got to see the town from the river, at least uh, when we were actually moving, we got to see the town from the river. After struggling against a very strong headwind, we finally made it to the landing point and our next priority was to head into town and check out Harper's Ferry and find some much needed food. We drove through downtown Harper's Ferry and then followed the peninsula around to the first parking area. So this is called the Fisherman's Parking Area. And luckily we had our America the Beautiful Pass with us. So that gave us access to the park without having to pay the entry fee over again. And this pass would come in handy a couple more times on this trip. It's really a good thing to get if you're planning on visiting a few different national parks. From the parking area, you can follow a path down the street toward the historic Harper's Ferry area. Now looking at the map, I also figured out that the Appalachian Trail goes in the same direction. So we could have taken that, which would have been really neat, but we were exhausted. The other option for the day was that we wanted to hike the famous Maryland Heights Trail and get this amazing view of downtown Harper's Ferry, but again, just too tired. So instead, we started to walk this path toward Harper's Ferry to find some food. We made our way through historic Harper's Ferry and started to walk up High Street because we looked on our phones and figured out that that's where most of the restaurants and places to eat were. We were on a mission to find some food. The first place that we found that was open was the Coach House Bar and Grill, and they had burgers on the menu, so that was our winner. I think we were their first customers that day. They had just opened for lunch, but we got our burgers and steak fries, and then we went up the street to Battlegrounds Coffee. We couldn't find a brownie, but we got this chocolate chip muffin that was pretty good. And then we walked down High Street a little bit, and we found this really cool place that has historic candy. The whole store is organized by year, and you can find candy from each different decade. It's, it's a really neat experience. Oh, the wind. <laughs> damn wind. After visiting the candy shop, I think we were finally back up from our calorie deficit. So we decided to walk out toward the water and to the bridge that goes over the Potomac River. This is a portion of the Appalachian Trail that goes right across the river. And the second bridge is where the train comes over.
company should give you a heads up. About the wind? Yeah. Like, if you can't get past this certain point, just get out here and give us a call. Yeah. Well, they did say to take your phone. But yeah. I feel like I'm in decent shape, and that kind of kicked my ass. Yeah. Like, I was planning on hiking, but I don't think I could hike right now. If we had continued down the towpath a little bit farther, we could have found the trailhead for the Maryland Heights Trail, that very famous hike that goes up to the overlook where you get a gorgeous view of Harper's Ferry. But like we just said, we were pretty tired and there's a ton of uphill involved in that hike. So we'll have to save that for our next trip to Harper's Ferry. We decided that now that we were full of food and caffeine that we were ready to go back into Harper's Ferry and check out some of the historic sites that were there. In the historic district of Harper's Ferry, there are these buildings that have been preserved that are just open. You can walk into and they're like little mini museums. But then we headed up to the famous stairs that go up to the church. That's such a landmark in Harper's Ferry. These stairs are actually part of the Appalachian Trail. They are very worn. You can tell that they've been there for a while. This must be such a neat part of the process when you are a through hiker going all the way from Georgia to Maine, you get to see so much nature and then you get to see all of these really interesting pieces of history. We found out that the church is actually still active and if you're there at the right time, you can actually go in for mass. If you continue up the Appalachian Trail, more stairs right behind the church, you head up toward the ruins of another older church. And if you keep going past that, you end up at what's called Jefferson's Rock. And it's always kind of confused me. I wasn't really sure what it was, uh, but apparently Thomas Jefferson really liked the view from this particular spot where you could see down into the valley and the rivers. So it ended up being named Jefferson Rock. I found out that the National Park Service has a program called the Bark Ranger for dogs that are visiting Harper's Ferry. I thought this was such a great idea. So Bark stands for bag your poo, always stay on a leash, respect all animals, people, and wildlife, and know where you can and can't go. 
So we're going to make sure next time we bring Redford and that he gets to sign up to become a bark ranger. The Shenandoah Canal. That bridge is up here to go to the island. Mm. You want to go to the island? Mm. you walked out on to see if we were coming, right? Yeah. It's funny. There's a lot of rocks. <laughs> there is no pickup location <laughs> after the bridge. We really enjoyed our short time in Harper's Ferry, even, even the rafting trip. But we were pretty tired, so we wanted to head back to the scamp, back to our lovely campsite and start breaking things down and putting things away because the next day we had one of our longer travel days. We were heading from Maryland toward Virginia, toward Shenandoah National Park. We got the scamp all packed up and ready to go. We were thinking about the drive that we had toward Virginia. We passed some really interesting sites yesterday on our way to Harper's Ferry and we thought that it might be nice to break up the drive a little bit by stopping at a couple places on the way. We found out that Antietam Battlefield was only about 25 minutes away from where we were at so we figured since we were in the area it was probably worth stopping to see it on the way.